Hi, this is a short tutorial on using Data Grid View. Now remember your music CD application where this is the main menu and we have uh, a CD ABC already added. Okay, and then we will proceed to add a new CD. I have to let's say this from a row composer seal edition one add the CD. Okay, click back. We have ABC and kiss from the rows. Now I guess most of you would have considered this question. How do I show multiple columns? That means perhaps title over here, then composer, then addition. Now you can use this using a UI control in uh, Visual Studio called the Data Grid View. Now it looks like this. Right? So you have the title column, the composer column, and the addition column. And if I add a new one, title is back and then it will show like this so this helps in a lot of ways in our UI it provides the user to be able to see uh, all the columns at one time instead of just seeing one column and which is very useful all right so in this tutorial we will teach you how to use the data grid view okay in a few simple steps all right so if we, if we go to the code in our that has the list box over here Okay. Remember how is this list box being populated? We go to view code, then we see that it's being populated using this line. Wherever the form is activated, we first clear the list box and then we proceed to call the add range and then uh, add the entire array list and then converting it to an array. Okay. Now what we have to do first is okay, we have to delete our list box. Okay, we have to first stop our instance. Alright. Delete the list box. Okay. Go to again open up our toolbox and you can see data grid view. Drag and drop over here. Okay. Yes, put it up to a reasonable size. And then the next thing that we have to do is rename this. Okay, let's say we call it DGV and then cd now we add the columns so you right click then add column the first column we add we change the header text to title okay second one again to composer and the third one to uh, addition okay so these three columns are uh, will be sufficient and I think I need more space, so I just drag. Okay. Okay. So there I have it. I have my columns in my uh, data grid view. Okay. Going back to the code. Now, I will. These two lines are no longer necessary because my list box is not there anymore. But I shall have to do this similar uh, concepts, which is first, okay, step one to clear their data grid view first always and second is to populate the data grid view from the array list of CDs right okay now step one uh, using list boxes this code okay it will be very similar to for the data grid view just call the data grid view's name, okay, and then we access it rows property, okay, the rows property which represent the rows of the data grid view, and we clear the rows, okay. So you can see this and this is very similar. Now step two, we need to populate the data grid view from the array list of CDs, okay. Okay. Now we can do this in a for each loop, okay. That means we look through, okay, look through the list of CDs and add it to the okay, data grid view row by row. So looping through will be for each CD, CD in, and then remember that our array list is actually in all form class, so dot CD list. That will be it. Okay, 
So for each CD, what we need to do now is we need to add to add row to DGV to the data grid view. So we can do this by doing DGV CD dot rows dot add. And then next is we have to specify the values for each column. So if you remember our first column is actually title, second composer, third is addition. So first being title, cd dot title, second cd dot composer, and third cd dot addition. Okay, and you should do it. Okay, so let's try compiling this. Let's close this first. Alright. There you have it. Okay, a uh, simple illustration on how to use the data grid view for listing and also how to add uh, each rows uh, to a data grid view using your objects. That's it.